2015 may not have been a year of groundbreaking trends, but certainly held its own. As with any year, some not so good fashion and beauty trends cropped along with some that we hope will stick around in 2016. So if improving your fashion and beauty game is in the cards, we hope that you leave these less than stellar trends behind and pick up on the coolest trends that we are going to take you through tonight. Although trends are supposed to guide us in our daily style choices, how do we strike a balance between conforming and staying true to our individuality? Welcome to the Style Project. My name is Sylvia Owori. I'm Tazibon Solomon. And we're joined by Sheila Lukwanzi. Welcome to the Style Project. Thank you and I'm glad to be here. Wow. Tell us about yourself. I'm um, a former student in Paris, fashion student in Paris, and I returned home to be a fashion designer and a trend analyst. Wow, trend yes. analyst. Mm -hmm. I think you're in the right place today because today we are totally talking fashion and trends that rocked in 2015. Trends that we should be leaving behind in 2015 and what we should be watching out in 2016. Okay. Solomon, tell us about what was your favorite trend? Well, my favorite trend of 2015 was a sports last trend. I feel it was very refreshing watching how, you know, outfits that were traditionally athletic wear made it onto the runways, onto the streets, and into our wardrobes as well. I was particularly a big fan of the joggers. Wow. Because, I mean, the comfort and ease that comes And the joggers, work. and you know what? Yes. They also came in the African print. I saw you rocking it. Of course, Let I rock everything. <laughs> I was very impressed with the joggers. I also love the athletic inspired t-shirts. I'll also tell you, one of my favorite trends for last year, I think you saw me rocking a lot, the bodycon dress. Because I feel the bodycon dress actually doesn't matter what size you are. Mm. You can still but, does. Yeah, I think it's tricky though. It does things to you. Because Ugandan girls, you know, particularly have bodies for the bodycon dress. Okay, the typical Ugandan woman. My favorite trend from uh, 2015 was the neon bath suits. We saw lots of those on, mm. on the social media. Uh, the neon <laughs> colors, the, the, the green, the orange, uh, the yellow. I think it was something that's really fancy and people would go out during the summer and they would rock. The neon parties, people took advantage of that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still speaking of the sports luxe trend, I was a fan of the trainers. The color trainers. The color trainers, like, oh my God. It's it like, wasn't that. Yeah, it mm. wasn't a time that you only have to wear mm. them to the gym. Mm. And talking oh. about the trainers, um, mm. the trend of the platform sneakers, I think you s it was rocking 2015 and I loved, I loved this trend. The platform yeah, I think sneakers. It's a good, it, that, that was actually very good for yeah. the people who are like, I said brothers and sisters who are lacking in the height department. <laughs> <laughs> if you're lacking in the height department, mm. I think, yeah, I love that trend because mm. if somebody looked closer, they would actually <coughs> not think you're wearing a heel. Yes. Yeah. The, the, you know, it's a trainer, but yeah. it had the platform in it, so you could actually disguise and, mm. you know, look a little taller. Yes. Yeah. How about, speaking of beauty, what was your favorite beauty trend of 2015, Sylvia? Couturing, for me, it's couturing. We can see. Whoever <laughs> introduced couturing, mm. please, that trend is totally going to stay because it actually, if somebody's a very good makeup artist, they can actually control your face and you do not need plastic surgery anymore. Yes. And I was also a fan of the natural movement, the natural hair, the organic approach to beauty. You know, it's a very refreshing thing. Sheila, what do you think about the natural thing? The natural I, I hair? loved it. I love it because uh, most of the, the African girls are not proud of having the natural hair. But then when we see like celebrities and other people having this and embracing their, their, I mean, their heritage, it's something fascinating, it's interesting. The Bohemian style is one of the one of my favorite trends for 2015. Mm. Uh, we saw the bo the Bohemian prints and uh, the way people were doing the floral the floral bands in their hair. Mm -hmm. I think it was it was a very interesting trend for me in 2015. I loved it totally. Yeah. I used a bit of that because I had I was doing a lot of the taban, mm. and I was I, think it uh, comes I was very from inspired. The whole 70s, you know? Yeah, the hippie style. Yeah, the hippie style. Well, um, you guys seem to have missed the, the sheer dress, the sheer trend. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think about it? I personally feel most of the time it was like misdone, wasn't done right. You know, we have this very bad copycat culture. I think it went when they saw celebrities on the red carpet, for example, Rihanna wearing that sheer and with her G-string. Everybody now copies with social media, everybody just runs and copies all of these trends. Speaking of body types and what to show off and what to not, 
fatal trend was also quite dominant in mm. 2015. Mm. Mm. And that like took things to the next level because now you're not seeing me through fabric, but you're seeing the real deal. You're seeing the real skin. <laughs> yeah, so there's a cut. People were showing off their real skin. But I, I saw some people that were like, you know, we always talk about cellulite and things. Yes, if I'm going to wear a cutout, I, let me hide. Just try and hide the pieces of your body that you don't want people to see. But for me, I think one of my favorite trends also was the sequins. You know, I, I wore them quite a bit even on, for the, on, on the for show. Sure, I do remember. Yes. <laughs> and it went from the leggings to the gowns on the red carpet to the hot pants to basically to the, the little shirts you wear to office with a little bit of sequins. I and think... accessories, by the way, speaking of accessories, there were sequin pants, sequin shoes. I'm talking still like expounding on accessories. I felt that statement necklace, I felt jewelry just, just kept getting bolder and bigger, you know? And yeah, that statement necklace ruled 2015. And heavier. Yeah, and heavier. Basically heavier. And also the bold approach to jewelry, we had the stackable rings, like what you, you have right there. Yes. <laughs> I mean, who would have thought you would wear more than like two or three rings? Rings in every finger! <laughs> like the more the merrier. There's something about the statement necklaces and the statement earrings is that even if you don't dress to kill, mm -hmm. you still stand out because it's a statement. It's something that someone is going to look at immediately they look at you. So I it's think like, it's a very... It's like, look at me, <laughs> check out my jewelry, check out this kind of piece that I'm wearing. But one thing that we're actually forgetting mm -hmm. that totally became very big and popular was social media. Remember, I mean, everybody, on now, you know, we have social media celebrities, people on Facebook, and yeah. people are flying to Dubai, Uganda. Yeah. Everyone now flies to Dubai just to take pictures. I think at the flight, like 200, <laughs> you know, it's like $100 now to go to Dubai that you just have to fly there, take pictures, and then fly back, and that, post on social media. I think the society is getting more visual like visual, I mean, when, when it gets to social media, I think Instagram actually toppled Twitter as like the most used, you know? Uh, yeah, you could say that. Mm. And I think that comes with people, you know, wanting to show off, people wanting you to be in their business. <laughs> so much that at some point we actually had a whole show dedicated to Instagram. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, the most followed people yes. and all of that, and basically on Instagram. What experience are you having with social media, Sheila? It, it has boosted the, the, the business, the fashion business, in a way, because this time we don't really, we can focus on certain accounts, and then we, we, we get to know the trends, we get to know whatever is happening you know, in the fashion world, even if we, we are not living there. So somehow, like like before back in the days it used to be oh i'm going to wait for you know my auntie to bring me these to show me these to get to know the trends but now no, you you you, you know going, you're going to wait for a, a magazine yeah you don't have, have to, to wait have now, to social wait. media is our new ma basically daily it's, magazine it's our daily new daily magazine. magazine we know who wore what like we saw what beyonce rocked why beyonce was dressed like that and, you know and, and people were like all criticizing her and everything but on that note i would like to ask you sheila you say you're an analyst fashion analyst what does that totally what does that entail okay that's uh, being a trend analyst is you have you look through the fashion shows after the fashion weeks then you you sieve out it's more like sieving out the trends that you think are going to rock this season let's take a break but when we return we look at 2016 fashion trends that we have a grip on as well as those that we are totally throwing out this year Hold that thought. Welcome back from the break. In our first segment, we talked about our favorite trends for 2015. And now, let's talk about the trends that should stay in 2015. And later on, the trends that we focused to be a big hit in 2016. Solomon, what trends do you think should be staying in 2015? I'll start with the ombre hair. What's the origin? Who, who, who started this trend? I think uh, Kylie Jenner inspired the whole ombre hair movement. I don't know that single-handedly, but you know she has a hair, you know, like extension line. Well, you know how very, you know, people see one thing and they're like, oh, she's rocking it, so I'm definitely gonna rock it. Mm -mm. So, yeah, to me it was like overdone. It's Some people look old. You know, I'll talk about Judith Hardick and I remember <laughs> her at the, uh, at, the, at the awards, at the fashion awards, and she, had, she was wearing this gold gown and then she had this 
white marching hair. hair. <laughs> His marching <laughs> hair. It was like, what era? The mm. trend that should definitely not cross to 2016 is the naked, nude, red carpet moment. I, I'm <laughs> totally done with this one. <laughs> really, it shouldn't cross to 2016. No, we've yeah. had enough of it in 2015, and it shouldn't continue. Oh, come on, it's the easiest way to turn heads. Like. <laughs> it's yeah, the easiest but, way to get attention. Just yeah. on the red carpet, almost naked. Sure, it is, but I, I, I think it's, it's been overdone in 2015. There should be some sort of intrigue. It should be covered up and people should actually wonder what's underneath the cloth. Not at what all. What do you think about the ripped jeans? Oh. For me, those ripped <laughs> jeans should actually stay in 2015. You know what? I mean, they had a ripped jean party. I mean, who comes up with all these ideas? And again, let's have a ripped jean party. So when people actually, everyone, people are coming here and shop ripped jean parties and I'm like, why even waste your money 2016 be classy dress up nice yeah the thing with ripped jeans is if they're not done well you can go from tacky to totally mm -hmm. trash trashy like no time it was the ripped jeans but also the patchwork jeans whereby you know they they, they put some patches onto the jean itself and i think this should as well stay in 2015. that reminded me of them days whenever we were kids those <laughs> jeans were actually big <laughs> 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 that that should not basically come back and still talking about jeans the acid wash was very big yes. it was mm -hmm. very big in, in in 2015 but i think it should Hey. Do you remember the tattered trim, the tattered t-shirts, the tattered, like, literally tattered <laughs> things? Yes. Whatever looked like people were paying to look... Homeless. Homeless. <laughs> you know, you're spending money to look destitute. I was like, you know, we talked about the chunky necklace, but I think it's, it's had its time. It should now just go to rest for now. The statement necklace, you are so good to us in 2015. <laughs> <laughs> but please just stay in 20, stay there, because now, you know, you need to wear that, the little tiny, like, with a with very tiny little pendant and stuff, mm -hmm. as opposed to having them big. The flash tattoos, I don't want them to go into 20... <laughs> <laughs> into yes. 20, 2016. Um, because I think, well, maybe here yeah, people haven't, we haven't really seen so many people with the flash tattoos. Mm. So it could stay, it could stay in a way, but it's you been You don't have done. to change your mind. Because, <laughs> but I think the contour should also, like, Okay, I'm a bit battling with myself on this right now because you're turning your head and it's like mm -hmm. in my face. But I think it's had its time. I think makeup is taking a very, it's actually pushing towards the whole, it's in sync with the whole natural movement. So I think people are lately doing a lot of strobing, which entails basically just highlighting your facial features, the ones that you want to stand out, and less contouring like this and here and here and here. Like contouring. For me, I want contouring to stay. <laughs> <laughs> what I think should actually leave is the full lip. It shouldn't continue. What's the full lip? Because it's it seems to be wearing a full lip. No, no, the overdone, the one that looks like uh, uh, Kyla Jenner's mm. Um, mm. lip. As we continue to talk trends, let's talk about predictions, what we are predicting. In the guy's wardrobe, I totally see the turtleneck or the, the polo neck, the polo neck. Polo neck. shirt having a ball in 2016. Polo neck, but it's really hot yes. here. I don't know. I mean, fashion means pain. Oh. You know, I think it's not about comfort. I, she's actually She's rocking. actually right. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, so the more are you trying something about me? But she's yeah. actually rocking it. Yeah. Wow. I think it's, it's easy to look chic. It's the easiest way to look chic and sophisticated. Mm. In, you know, the turtleneck. In the turtleneck. You know. That's why I see it like really having a ball for both the guys and the, the ladies in 2016. The dress that I'm wearing is like, it can be the off shoulder dress. That, it, that, that silhouette is going to be very big in 2016. People should be wearing it from, from the blouses to the way to office, to the evening dress, to you know, to just the kind of silhouette that I'm wearing now. For the men's wear, uh, for 2016, I forecast uh, it's what they call the Cuban collar. It's the one that lies flat onto the man's um, neckline. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be a big hit in 20, 2016. We have the right man in the house, Solomon. Congratulations for winning. Best dress male media personality. Am I allowed to clap for myself? Yes, for MTV. I'm vain like that. <laughs> so basically, everybody's going to be watching what you're wearing. And as we continue to that, I was very mm. surprised, pleasantly surprised to see Solomon's trend. And I would like for you guys to look, him stand up to see what he's wearing. 
you know, it's quite hot and it gets uncomfortable, but you know, it's basically playing with the layers and proportions and colors. This is a quilted jacket. Underneath it, I had a, like a waistcoat and a you know, basic simple t-shirt, which I matched with my shoes. The other trend that I'm thinking is going to be very big is going to be less. And I see, today you're wearing our <laughs> trends. <laughs> So yes, to me. Yes, yes, less. There's going to be a lot of lace in 2016 in lots of different colors and stuff. What do you have to say? You came to the set like already. I mean, 2016 old. already. You're already 2016. <laughs> well, for lace, um, talking on a personal sort of view, I am very. I'm a big fan of big lace. I don't really like the small, mm. the, the the small lace. So um, just try, just try and match up your 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 colors right when you're wearing the lace and know when to wear it. Well. Shoes. I see, you know, major shoe game going on today. <laughs> <laughs> so, you what know? what shoes do you see, you know, taking 2016? So, yeah. You know, I'll talk about what I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> we are back to those times where, you know, uh, we have to leave in 2015 those the platform heels we used to have. Okay, it was very good for us because it actually gave you height. Mm. But now we're so much into the the little, you know, um, the closed. Mm. The, 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 you know, the tiny little clothes shoes, the Christian Louboutin kind of yeah. heel. Again, Madame Silas is wearing one here. I think for the platform, it was more like learning how to walk. So I imagine now they have learned how to walk with the heel, so they should push yeah. them out they and... Graduate and, to something yes, more and sassy and Exactly. Feminine. I actually also see the Chelsea boots for the guys. Mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 the Kanye. But Kanye was, he wears them quite a lot. Those are definitely going to, to rock 2016 for the guys. Mm -hmm. And in the beauty department, what do you see taking over 2016? What I think is going to be big for the guys, or if it's not going to be big, what I'm recommending that the guys do in 2016, take that extra step in your grooming regimen. I mean, it doesn't have to be the shell, the hair and the beard. Go get a facial. Like, get your mm. face scrubbed, get your, your nails done. Your nails done. Yeah. I would like to see more toned men as well. So, <laughs> men go to the gym in 2016 and, and post those pictures. <laughs> <laughs>